Passover and Easter are just over a week away and local faith groups are doing what they can to bring congregations together while abiding by coronavirus restrictions. KSBR News reporter Asia Gore joins us live in San Luis Obispo with a look at how they plan to worship together. Good morning, Asia. That's right. Good morning, Christina. Music, sermons and worship still happening across the country, but now those services are all online. It's weird. It's weird because the whole idea of a service is to be, is to congregate, is to be together. Well, I want to welcome you all to... Virtual sermons now take the place of a typical worship service as the coronavirus prompts altars to close. A lot of people are finding ways to, to connect and that has a lot to do not just with faith but with hope. That connection is especially important now with the start of Passover just one week away and Easter the following Sunday. Ahead of the typically packed Easter service at Mission de Tolosa, Father Kelly Vandehe leads his congregation by video in a weekly mass. I heard God call my name. Each day for six days, a short talk, a presentation to guide us on this journey of Lent. And for the Jewish community, the inability to share a Passover meal. Potato pancake mix. We're getting some sweet stuff delivered. Won't stop the Seder from being served. Our Seder is going to be virtual. And the Jewish Community Center Federation delivering meals to congregation members stuck indoors. We've made a couple trips to the store and we now have enough for completely for 20 people and we're working on 30. Easter egg hunts may be canceled and worship arenas closed, but people of different religions are bonded by faith. We are thinking about you. We love you. We care for you. We miss you. With the national quarantine order extended through the end of April, festive brunches and Easter egg hunts involving groups will not be permitted. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. We're all adapting. Thank you, Asia. And there are online sermons for people of just about any religion or denomination. We've included some in this story on our website, KSBY.com.